Hey, hey, Tammy Jersey Roberts here with week three of Spring Vitality Boost. Hope you're doing well. First, I'm going to show the menu for this week and what we're going to make, and then I'll show you my online shopping cart. So let's get to it. Hope you've been enjoying your 21 days. We're almost finished, one more week. So this week, we're going to be making baked strawberry rhubarb oatmeal, banana cinnamon smoothies, yogurt and berries, pistachios, spring vegetable pasta salad, basil radish dip with cucumber slices, peanut butter crispy bars, yum, honey sesame chicken with peas and quinoa, lentil masala soup, slow cooked stuffed peppers, Yum. So a lot of the ingredients you probably already have from the last two weeks, because I try to incorporate a lot of the things that you already have. So I'm not going to go over every single item that you would need for this week, because you should have it already if you've been doing the 21 days. If you do have any questions, you can always visit our private Facebook group or contact me at the Facebook page your Vitality Network. I'll be happy to answer any specific questions that you have. So let's go right to the shopping cart. As you can see, I have a bunch of organic bananas, lemons, strawberries, and of course, again, you want to wash those with some well, I guess you don't need to wash the, the bananas, but wash the lemons and the strawberries before you use them in some vinegar water. Um, here's the rice cereal that I chose. It was the one with the least preservatives. So if you can find something cleaner, that'd be great. I chose the Badia organic ground flaxseed. I have a big jar of these already in my pantry, but in case you need to get some, they last forever and ever. You can shake them on your oatmeal or salads or just about anything that you're eating. Black seed is one of those fantastic omegas that we need. Sesame seeds. I chose these because the only thing in here are sesame seeds. If you can find some organic ones, that's great. Um, sunflower seeds, you wanna get them without the shells. I could not find any at this store that were not roasted and salted. So what I'll do with these before I use them is soak them in a little bit of vinegar water for maybe 15 minutes or so before I use them and try to get some of that salt out. Um, turmeric. Turmeric is awesome, anti-inflammatory. Uh, this is an organic one. So if you've never used turmeric before, it turns everything yellow. There's not really a taste to it but you do wanna make sure that you don't spill it or drop it anywhere because it will definitely stain. I do the same thing with uh, crushed pepper. I use the same brand. I actually have a big jar of it already in my pantry and it's just crushed red pepper it adds flavor, just a little bit of spicy flavor to everything. So the recipe this week calls for frozen berries. You can get the mixed berries, the raspberries, the blueberries, blackberries, any kind of berries that you can find in the freezer department and just mix those up. Or sometimes you can find a bag of frozen berries that are already mixed. They happen to be out right now. So I'm showing you this one. Asparagus. So again, asparagus, just buy a bunch of it and you can soak these in some vinegar water, but these are an excellent spring vegetable to get that liver going properly. Spinach. I use spinach and kale interchangeably. This week the recipes are calling for both, but sometimes people have trouble digesting kale. So you can get the baby kale, or some people actually massage the kale before they use it, just to soften it up a bit and make it easier to digest. But again, Right before you use it, just wash this a little bit in some vinegar water. You don't want to pre-wash this because it will just get all soggy. 
um, basil. Okay, basil is one of those things that's super easy to grow and you can get one of these live organic plants for less than three dollars and just stick it on your window seal in the kitchen or any sunny place and it will just grow like crazy or if you're in a part of the country you can just uh, stick it outside in a little pot and it will grow like mad and you'll have fresh basil anytime you're ready for it cauliflower like I think I've already told you this, but this bag of cauliflower is already chopped up and one bag is equal to about a half of a cauliflower, in my opinion. I haven't I measured it and I guess it would de depend on the size of the cauliflower, but anyway, you get the idea. And of course it's better if you wanna just use fresh cauliflower, that's fine. I usually just keep bags of this in my freezer just so I have it on hand at any time. Cilantro. Cilantro is another one of those herbs that's super easy to grow. It's fantastic for detoxing heavy medical metals and other chemicals out of your liver and other cells. The cells of your liver and other places, but it's kind of funny that Cilantro is one of those things they say if you don't like it, it means that you actually need it. So I'll just leave it at that. I actually love it. So anyway, uh, cucumbers, same thing. You just want to rinse them off in some cucumber water because a lot of them have wax on them and other chemicals. Who knows what else might be on it, but even if you're going to peel it, I still wash it. Uh, minced garlic, I've shown minced garlic before. You can get organic or not, but just get the kind that is not in oil. And I buy my garlic already min minced up because I use a lot of it. And here's the kale that I was mentioning. Again, if you're gonna use fresh kale, I suggest that maybe you massage it a little bit because it can be hard to digest. And the whole purpose of this is to go easy on your digestive system. Radishes, yum, yum, yum radishes. They're a little bit spicy sometimes for people. They're super good for you to eat in the spring and you can eat the green part. Just wash the whole thing here in some vinegar water and you can chop up the greens and put them on salads and just put them in anything else that you're using green stuff in. They're delicious a little bit bitter, which is really good for this time of year. Red onions. Okay, so the uh, recipes are calling for rhubarb this week and this store does not have any rhubarb right now. So a substitute that you might wanna use are cranberries. Couldn't really find any cranberries either because it's not the season for them. So you can, these are the cranberries that I picked out just because it had the least amount of ingredients, although one of the ingredients is sugar. So you may want to just look for rhubarb at a different store or do the best that you can. That's really the whole idea with everything is just do the best you can. Just being conscious of what you're eating is better than just not. Yellow onions, pretty self-explanatory. Here's some gluten-free brown rice uh, noodles that you can use. These have the least amount of ingredients. You have to watch it with those because some of the manufacturers are putting a lot of preservatives in their brown rice pastas. Okay, so when you're doing the diced tomatoes, of course you can just get tomatoes and dice them up yourself. No problem with that. If you are gonna buy the canned ones, I usually try to get the organic with no salt added. There's a limit right now of two, so I've got a couple of different ones here. This one is the one that isn't low salt. Um, calling for red lentils this week. Um, this store happens to be out of red lentils, but Thankfully, my sister gave me a huge bag of the dry lentils 
this stores out of dry lentils or any kind of lentils that are dry. So here's a can of organic lentils and that'll be just fine. You would just change up the recipe a little bit so you're not, uh, you don't have to cook them as long since they're not dried. Um, as far as bone broth goes, this is a chicken variety. Get the one that has the reduced sodium, whatever kind that you get, and the least amount of chemicals in it. These do have sugar, so I usually recommend that you make your own bone broth. I've got several recipes for that if you want to do that, but it's pretty simple. Same thing, uh, coconut milk. We've talked about coconut milk just about every week. Here's a brand that has the least amount of chemicals in it. Actually, there are no preservatives. It's just got a little bit of stabilizer in it. But again, coconut milk is super easy to make. You can check out my other videos on that. Salsa, you can either make your own or here's one that I really like. Again, you want to look for one that has the least amount of chemicals in it. Here's the vegetable broth. Couldn't find the low sodium one, or actually this is the only vegetable one that they had here. So again, it's super easy to make veggie broth. And I keep those, whenever I make veggie broth, I make a huge crock pot full. I use what I'm going to use and then I freeze the broth in ice cube trays. And once they're frozen, I can store them in my freezer and I have vegetable broth anytime I need it. For quinoa, you can use it mixed with brown, brown and red rice. Here's a good option. Or you can just get quinoa, regular quinoa. It's gluten-free. And this one is a blend of the red, the white, and the black. So that sounds good. Coconut flour, you'll just need a little bit of this this week, but you can always store this. We've talked about oats several times. This is a fantastic resistant starch. It's so good for you. I get the gluten-free variety. Honey. So you want to get organic and raw. Those are the main words that you want to see on it. As little processing as possible. Honey is one of those things that it's great to get it at a local farmer's market. It can help you with allergies. Feta cheese. Again, you want to get the one with the least amount of preservatives. Sesame oil is so good. And the only thing in here is sesame seed oil. Okay, tamari is another ingredient that's on the list this week. Uh, this store doesn't sell tamari. So I picked out uh, liquid aminos from Bragg's. Another option would be the coconut aminos. But keep in mind that if you're going to use low sodium soy sauce or something like that, this liquid aminos is way saltier, like super salty. So just be conservative when you're using it. You'll ruin everything. <laughs> uh, some plain Greek yogurt. Cabot is the brand that I think is the best of the choices available. There's no sugar in it. Another option for almond milk that we haven't discussed yet is this West Soy Original Soy Milk, the unsweetened one. The only thing in here is filtered water and whole organic soybeans. So that's really what you're looking for when it comes to, you know, these types of um, processed milk. If you're not going to make your own coconut, almond, whatever, you can use um, something pure like this. And the last thing I have on here right now is um, vegan plant protein and greens powder, the vanilla flavor. This is the brand that I buy occasionally, although I also have another brand that I sell. If anyone's interested, it's part of a weight management system. So if you are trying to lose weight, um, please 
just send me a private message and I'll contact you and talk to you one-on-one -on -one because, you know, gaining weight or losing weight, as I've talked about many times, is a symptom of what could be going on inside, you know, something else that may be going on with you. So, you know, everything is connected and everyone is unique and all things matter and weight, either underweight or overweight is a symptom of something else going on and there could be a lot of other issues that are happening. So not just one thing, as you probably found out that getting on the diet hamster wheel isn't gonna get it. So cheers to your vitality, spring vitality boost. Hey, thank you for sharing this video, liking it, and have a great week. Let me know how it's going.